Good evening. Tonight I have an interesting little lineup of whiskey to taste. I'm going to start with the first one because it is the lowest ABV and it is something completely different from anything I've ever had before. This here is a sample bottle. Looks like this. And it says on the back of it, Kimse Whiskey Distillery. Gewirt der Straße 1, D83355, Grabenstedt, Kimsee Single Malt, 5CL, that's 50 milliliters, 42% alcohol by volume. I don't know what the little 14 stands for on the bottom there. But this is a German whiskey, pronounced Kimsee, from Bavaria. Kimse is the name of a lake in Bavaria. How do I know this? It's purely by coincidence. I was watching a, a video, a documentary about Nazi treasure, and there was this golden crown, I think it was, that was found in the Kimse. And they thought it was an ancient thing from thousands of years ago, but when they analyzed the gold, they figured that it could not have been made by any more primitive culture than uh, 20th century uh, Germany. So anyway, I was watching this thing about Nazi gold and that, that the gold crown or whatever it was was found in the lake in the Kimse in uh, Bavaria. Anyway, that's so much for trivia. There's a bit of um, dust on this. This was given to me by Whiskey Jason. Thanks once again, Jason. I may thank you again if I like it. <laughs> It's so my first German whiskey ever. And it looks like the top has been somehow shrink wrapped with, well, there's a little pull tab here. It's been plastic, plasticized. So this is like factory fresh, I think, or it was re plasticized, but plasticized by somebody. Anyway, I was able to get, oh, come on. It's stuck on. Oh. I don't even know if it's a plastic or a glass bottle. The more I touch it, the more plastic it feels. Oh. And this, this pull tab wasn't much good. Try it again. I have fingernails, but I don't want to waste them. I'm going to use this little knife to get at it. I can't believe this is giving me any trouble at all. Oh my goodness. The plastic comes down to here. No wonder it feels like plastic. It's that plastic, plastic collar that came, comes all the way down there. I think it's a glass bottle after all. Now I've got the top off complete with plastic collar. doesn't matter because I'm going to pour an entire gram, which is the whole bottle. There's your 50 mils of Kimse German whiskey. Now, just to get the plastic off this metal cap so I can reuse the sample bottle for, for another sample. Let it sit sideways for a bit. It looks like it's a glass bottle. Let it sit sideways for a bit to drain everything. Take a sip of water. I had a gin and tonic when I came home about an hour ago from running my errands, which include getting groceries, 
pick up picking up medication from the pharmacy, getting groceries. Did I mention that already? Buying whiskey. Hmm. This is a malt whiskey. Yeah, single malt. Smells malty. It should. So it smells quite malty. It reminds me a little bit of a cardu. And how does the looks promisingly viscous by the speed at which these drops are forming and coming down. Forty two per cent. I'm getting mostly malty cereal cereal notes. A lot of cereal notes. There's something a little bit fruity. Orchard fruits like pears and apples. And bit of a nose hair burner there, getting some alcohol, getting some alcohol in the nose. There's another thing fruity going on here besides the pears and apples. Pears and apples and malt. I can't really... Can't really pinpoint it. It's probably one of those things that if somebody mentioned to me what it was, I'd go, ah, yes, of course. It's a tiny little bit nutty as well. But once again, I can't. Is it walnuts? It's a little bit like walnuts. Something, something earthy like clay as well. It's got that clay, you know, like modeling clay. Another little bit of water. Maybe the last of my gin and tonic. Mm. Water again. It could be that the Sheringham Seaside Gin in the supermarket tonic water are influencing my nose and my palate somewhat. Although my palate hasn't tasted this whiskey yet. I'm getting a little bit of chocolate. Chocolate fudge, just a little bit. Fudge sickle. Yes, just a little bit of fudge sickle. But it's very faint. Mostly I'm still getting that multi note. Could it be that fudge sickle and, uh, and maltiness 
is kind of like kind of like a chocolate malt at least on the nose and I had yes and I had chocolate malt just last night or a chocolate malt whiskey which was the Lowen McKinnon chocolate malt aged in Sauterne cask which is just a brilliant whiskey I just finished the bottle and I have another one in reserve that I have not opened yet. Uh, well, the nose is promising. Let's give it a taste. <clears throat> Excuse me. I drank my gin and tonic a little fast. Yeah. Yes. On the palate, it's very malty and a little bit chocolatey, but it's not like a chocolate malt. It's like malt. I get the malt. The malt is all over the place. Then the fudge sickle, there's a bit of that fudge sickle note. It tastes a lot like it smells. Um, some orchard fruits in there, pear and apple, but they're not in the forefront. The forefront is the malt, absolutely the malt. Uh, strange shaped bottle, it's a little bit difficult to drain it. Get the last drops out. Come on. Oh, you stubborn little thing. It's just hanging on. I'll relate to you something that I saw in a elementary school on the wall in front of the urinal when I must have been around, I don't know, 10 years old. No matter how much you wiggle and dance, the last few drops end up in your pants. That's what's going on here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Amazing that I remember shit from 44 years ago. Man. Mm. Multi and refreshing is the nose. It's the same as it was before I tasted it. It's malty, very malty, a little bit of pear and apple, no spices to speak of. I'm not getting any steak spice or any cinnamon or any cloves or anything like that. It's just malt. Malty, again, a little bit fruity with a hint of pear and apple, but it's not overpowering. It's mostly malty. Malty, a little bit of alcohol, a little bit of that uh, chocolate fudgesicle, but it's very faint. It's not in your face. Would I want a higher ABV out of this? I don't know. Do I want to add water? Will it open it up? I don't know. Not very complex at all. It's just multi 
a little bit of fruit, a little bit of fudgicle. The finish. It's still there. Hangs on a little while. Doesn't hang on forever. Okay, okay, I'm going to try it with water now. I'm going to be using quite a bit of water tonight because uh, a couple other things that I have have a lot of ABV. That's one drop. Ooh. Grand total of about four drops. Well, if one, dro one drop makes a difference, four drops, we'll just water it down. Okay, so we're down to about 39, 40% ABV, something like that. We'll give it another try. Malty. Water has not changed the nose a lot. I'm still getting that fresh apple and pear. It's like those, I think they're Japanese pear apples. It's a cross between a pear and an apple. And uh, it's just like that. And each fruit comes in a styrofoam uh, uh, thing that looks like a fishnet. The um, the chocolate fudgesicle note seems to be a lot less than it was. The malt is still there, and if anything, the fruit is a little stronger. Let's taste it. Yeah, same thing on the palate. There's a little less malt. There's almost no fudgesicle. Now is where the fruits come out. That pear and appleness. And now, maybe a, a little hint of um, white pepper. Just a hint. Nothing overly strong, just a little bit of white pepper. Mm -hmm. It's nice with a little bit of water. A little spicy white pepper. Pears, pears, apples, white pepper. Still somewhat malty, but yes, the, the few drops of water really opens this up. Now, towards the end, makes the finish longer too. Now the finish is a little bit, I'm getting bitter tannins. Bitter tannins probably from whatever wood they used. Could it have been an American or a, a European oak of some kind? Um, like a wine barrel? It doesn't really say on here, it just says Kim Say Whiskey Distillery where it is I think I said that already the address um, Gewerbestrasse number one D eight three three five five Grabenstedt Kim Say single malt and on here, all it says is, oh, well, there's some fine small writing here. Der Himere, or Der Himse, oh, it's spelled Himse. C-H Kimse whiskey. So it's pronounced Kimse rather than Kimse. That's good to know. 
Kimse. Oh, interesting. And there's a little swan. There's a little swan on the logo. Well, I hope I got the pronunciation right, whether it's Kimse or Kimse. It's something like that. It's not Kimsey or Chimesey. It's Kimse. Or, yeah, I think that makes sense. If there's any German speakers out there, you can always correct me because German was my first language, but I, we stopped speaking it when I was about five or six years old. So I remember some things about it, but I'm nowhere near fluent. <laughs> Prost! Food quick! <laughs> Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>